Many thousand years ago, the children of Israel were scattered, wandering aimlessly. Their leader, Moses, was called by God to the top of a mountain where he was given tablets of stone upon which was written ten laws or commandments. These laws were to be as a guide for the wayward people, to set their feet upon the right way, to be a guide for their lives, to show them how to live in peace and love. And could it be that today some of us who are again wandering aimlessly, confused and troubled, should maybe look again to the tablets of stone? I believe you'll find it in the 20th chapter of Exodus. I'm not sure about that, but I think that's right. Moses led God's children out to find the promised land. And on the way he stopped each day and looked to heaven and asked God for help as he could not withstand the task alone. And then one day he looked away, there by lay a stone. God said, write upon the stone these words I say to you. And if you all obey my rules, I'll see you safely through. God opened heaven's doors and then he guided Moses' hand. And he said, go and tell the children, these are my commands. Go and climb that mountain, Moses, climb that mountain now and pray. Climb that mountain now and tell us what our Lord has had to say. Thou shalt have no God before me is my great command. And thou shalt not make any graven image by thy hand. Thou shalt not take my name in vain if thou would guiltless be. Remember thou to keep the Sabbath day alone for me. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill. Love thy neighbor as thyself, and show thy neighbor peace. Covet not thy neighbor's house, nor anything that's his. Go and climb that mountain, Moses, climb that mountain now and pray. Climb that mountain now and tell us what our Lord has had to say. Moses showed these words of God to all the children then. They pulled up sticks and headed out to find the promised land that Moses had described to them and told of comforts there that children of oppression thought they'd never find anywhere. But they were soon to part from him and push alone a while, for it was never meant for him to walk that final mile. The children cried, if we must go on, Moses, without you, then talk to God just one more time and tell us what to do. Go and climb that mountain, Moses, climb that mountain now and pray. Climb that mountain now and tell us what our Lord has had to say. Go and climb that mountain, Moses, climb that mountain now.